Uh, okay, so my name is Martin Lazarsch. Um, I'm working for SUSE since nine and a half years now, I guess. And uh, welcome to FASTM 2009. Uh, why we are here? So FASTM is quite important for us. In my opinion, it's the most important developer conference in Europe, maybe even in the world, for OpenSUSE at least. Um, so we are here the first, first time now. And Novell is sponsor again. So we sponsor the whole event, so Novell is not that evil. We are supporting open source. Again, we have approximately 30 people from Novell here, or from SUSE. So you see a lot of people here running around with a contributor t-shirt. And if you don't have a contributor t-shirt and you think you should have one, uh, please go to the booth and we will give you one. We have 20 talks. This time we have three talks from the community. From the community means people that are not working for Novell or for SUSE. So I don't want to really make a difference because, of course, we are also part of the community, even we work for the company. But uh, this time we have three different talks from the community directly. We changed also a little bit the booth. Um, we have not only OpenSUSE there, we have the OpenSUSE Education Project there, um, which is a cooperation with HP, which is pretty nice. And we have Marty Murring here for the embedded uh, build service stuff. So you can also ask questions about that. And what is not on the slides, we have OpenSUSE Studio here, or Su SUSE Studio, excuse me. So if you want to build your own distribution, uh, just go downstairs uh, with the big monitor, and you can build your own SUSE-based distribution with your own package selection. Very nice. We have also DVDs and uh, USB sticks with us, so you can just uh, burn it or put it on the USB stick and take it at home. Uh, we had some changes. Uh, unfortunately, Kulo is sick, so the second talk was the Outlook uh, to 11.1, .1. uh, so this talk will not happen. Uh, Marco said he wants to do a talk, but unfortunately I cannot reach him, so I'm not sure if we really have the next talk. He's coming? Okay, nice. Uh, Tsonka is doing a keynote. Unfortunately, it's uh, 2 o'clock when we have one of our community talks. Uh, but anyway, if you want to see Sonka talking about a little bit more general about OpenSUSE, what happened in the OpenSUSE project, uh, join him at the main stage. Uh, this time, which was really funny when we yesterday tried to get all the stuff in the car, for the first time we have much, much better video recordings because now we have microphones and we have speakers, as you see. So the recordings should be pretty good this time. Uh, the video was the last year was very, very good, thanks to Jürgen and Tom, but uh, the audio was not that good. And yeah, we have a smaller room, so it's the same room as we had last year on the second day. So probably we have in the evening a problem with air, so if the talk is over, please open the doors so we get some air here in. And the organizers ask us, uh, here's really a hundred people limit, so if every seat is taken, uh, we have to close the doors and nobody can get in, otherwise we get really problems, or better the organizer get problems. So let me go back and see what we had last year. So 2008 was the year of the releases. So we had 11.0, it was very, very successful. Uh, we had 64% more downloads compared to 10.3. Uh, and uh, I, in my opinion, the 11.0 was really a milestone in release, especially because of the new Zipper release. So package management was really, really fast and really, really good. And we spread it around 25K of promo DVDs in two months. Usually I need for that six months, and this was so successful this time, so we just needed two months. Uh, well, six months later, we released 11.1. And this time we had only 5% more, download, more downloads. And the question is, of course, was it bad timing? I mean, it was a week before Christmas. It was only a six months difference between the versions. And in my opinion, it's really that A, it was too short before the year's end. And second, it was 11.0 is rock stable. So many users don't see the need for updating to 11.1, I guess. And of course, you have the build service if you want really the greatest uh, KDE, for example. You don't need to install 11.1. Uh, .1. You just can go to the build service and install the latest packages also on 11.0. So it's not really a problem anymore to skip one distribution. But anyway, 5% is not that bad. And overall reaction to the 11 series, it really rocks. Especially the package management. Everybody said this is the best thing you had in the last five years. So 11.1, .1, pretty good. 
So what else did we achieve in 2008? Um, we started with forums. Uh, many people wanted forums. I'm not really a big fan of a forum. I think mailing lists is much better to handle. But anyway, um, after six months, we have over 20,000 people in our forums, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, a few weeks ago, we started Features Open Suzo Org. Um, Tom will make later uh, tomorrow a presentation about it, so we can finally you can get features into OpenSUSE, and not just if you're working for the company. Uh, we starting with the contrib repository. Um, we also have a talk about this from Henne a little bit later. We have the first elected board, which is pretty important for me. So the first board was appointed by Novell. So this is really a board the community want, uh, which is also nice. Um, he's not here is the explosion of weekly news. So weekly news obviously is a, it's a newsletter uh, where we can put all the news in it which happened in the OpenSUSE world. And in the last months, uh, we saw that there are coming up many translations. So it's available in German, uh, Japanese, Hungarian, whatever. So pretty nice team and they're working very good together. If you want to join them, just go to the marketing mailing list and you see the needed information there. And this is also well, directly in contact with uh, Weekly News is a marketing team. So finally, we have a marketing team. We have a marketing uh, mailing list. So we try to, to uh, combine our efforts with the other guys. Yeah, and <laughs> we had the first external release party in Nuremberg. So now a new year uh, started. So what is missing? Uh, for me, the most important thing in the OpenSUSE world is the spokesperson program. If you're not aware what the spokesperson program is, we want something similar uh, Fedora have. Uh, they call it Ambassador. Uh, we use spokesperson as a placeholder. We are not sure what kind of name we want to use. Uh, obviously, it would be better if you have different names than Fedora or Ubuntu. Um, but we will see. At the moment, there's a voting running. So if you are an OpenSUSE member, you should already received a mail and you can vote for the final name. We will release the final name on Wednesday. On Wednesday is the next IRC project meeting, so you can see what the final name is. And why we have to do that, we want more local groups, we want more support from local people, and for me, a better distribution of DVDs. Because it's really a pain in the ass to distribute DVDs to foreign countries. It's not working. Postal services are not working. Um, some people complaining about that translations are missing, especially um, on the main pages, uh, on the start page, but also on news OpenSUSE.org or software OpenSUSE.org. So if you go there today, it's only in English. Um, some people argument, okay, if you can, everybody should be able to download OpenSUSE even if it's only in English. But in my opinion, it would be nice if we also translate these pages. So we are working on that. Contributions, so we started with the contrib repository and Henne will talk about later a little bit more about that. And so it's important that you can get stuff into the distribution so it's not only SUSE based, only people from the company can contribute to that. This is, in my opinion, very important, otherwise we are not really a community distribution. Some people also complain about trademarks. So if you make your own distribution, for example, with Kiwi or with uh, SUSE Studio, you have the problem, what's the name of the distribution? Can I call it OpenSUSE? Can I call it based on OpenSUSE? How should I call it? So we are working on it to resolve the trademark issue. And in our idea, of course, it would be best if we have something with OpenSUSE because uh, you should show this is based on OpenSUSE. Um, but it's not that, not that easy because there is some legal stuff, of course, involved. And what happened right now, we have no idea when we release the next product. And so we really have to rethink the whole release uh, schedule stuff. So we are, there are more than one option, of course. Uh, for example, um, should we release in a static release cycle six months, for example? Should we release just once a year? Uh, should we do some smaller updates, like kernel updates or new boot disk in between? So um, this is a very interesting discussion at the moment. And the problem is, uh, at the moment, nobody knows uh, what to do. So I cannot say when the next OpenSUSE will be released. Uh, there are one option is, for example, September. But we will see. That's all. So um, I'm already over the time a little bit. 
So uh, you see it's a lot of uh, stuff is going on in the OpenSUSE world. Uh, maybe just a little bit about FOSDEM. Uh, we have a booth, it's downstairs, it's the same location we had last year. Um, go there, talk with the people. I try to bring all the people who make a presentation after that to the booth. So if you have questions, please follow them to the booth and ask them. You have the chance, we have really 30 people here from Novell, from SUSE. If you are not sure who is here, just go to the booth, ask, is this guy here? Can I talk with somebody about whatever? Go to the booth, use the time, use the knowledge we have here at FOSDEM, and have a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs>